Hey guys, welcome to the final match of Fighting Spirit Mania. This is going to be game seven to decide who gets set one. Upper right in corner, we have DeWalt starting as the orange Protoss. Bottom left in corner, we have Zeke starting as the black Zerg. And this has been, like, really, this has been a treat. I really appreciate everybody that's uh, joining me out in chat. I'm going to raid one of these guys for the Twitch audience. Thanks, uh, Chopa Cannon, by the way out in chat there's so many good people this we i how do i express this this really is like a golden age of starcraft right now i just look at the grouping of streamers we have right now we got 80s mullet who we will see in hasu league i'm excited to cast those games you got ziki and dewalt streaming if you want to see their first person view you've got dead infested who has been doing the dead infested cup if you guys like the ums style stuff and uh and Erdman, who's an amazing Zerk player. And just a lot of streaming to watch, a lot of games to watch, and it's just, I don't know, feels like it's a good time. It's a good time for Brood War. So I'm just going to try to relish it as I can and relish the audience I've got and relish just these games right here. Just om nom nom nom, good games to consume. DeWalt checking out that bottom right-hand corner. Overlords making their way up the left-hand side of the map. Looks like we're seeing another... Overpool, so early potential Zerglings for Zeki. That's paid off for him mostly. This time at cross positions, I'm not sure how well that's going to pay off. A little bit of a delay on Dewall. I think he wants to try to sneak Nexus first. Because he certainly... So, if he's going to drop Forge... Yeah, it's a little bit late on the timing of this. Fortunately, he's not going up against just a straight 9 pool. But there is going to be an opportunity for... I mean, at cross positions, this might be okay. So scouting this, trying to get a blockade on that natural expansion. The drone already moving out. And then Zeke, yeah, does want to get aggressive with these lings because he's going ahead and moving that drone scout out. Which is going to allow DeWalt, yeah, getting some good harassment both on this drone and delaying that natural expansion a tad. And it looks like he's going to go for Nexus before Cannon. And we do have six Zerglings on the way. So this might be a fast one. We'll have to see how it plays out. At cross positions, I think there's still room to maybe pull this out. Looks like the initial, at least a Zergling. Oh, okay, so this will work out for him because the Zergling's not going well. So baiting with that. So there's going to be a little bit of time delay. There's that first cannon. There's the gateway blockading things. The drone trying to attack this front. So sees all of this. Sees the Nexus first. Doing some damage on the initial probe to go ahead and push it back. The Zerglings are now streaking across the map. 9 o'clock base. Being set up for Zeke. So he's not going to flood additional Zerglings across the map. But it looks like... Yeah, it should be... Yeah, should be defended because of that delay. So it looks like he is going to pull it off. So early economic lead for DeWalt potentially. Still needs to hold on to it. The Zerglings testing the front door a little bit. And actually, yeah, and that's going to pull off the two probes there. But still a probe alive along that back edge to go ahead and get the scouting information to verify drone counts. It looks like a drone is going to end up a little bit, nice catch on Zeke's part, a little bit off cycle. But wandering in behind this, man, DeWalt's so good at like just maintaining that information. Shooting the gap now. Handful of probes pulling off, but a Zergling... Two Zerglings getting taken out. Every Zergling counts early game. Because keep in mind, DeWalt loves moving those early game Zealots across the map. Layer being produced. Which suggests we're going to see three hatch Mutalisk. Potentially to fold back to four or five. We've seen a lot of stuff out of Ziki. Very fast double assimilator. Which suggests we're going to see maybe... High Templar, Corsair, maybe that double Stargate action again. The Zerglings trying to chase down that probe that has confirmed the 9 o'clock base. Drones starting to saturate. The Zergling going to go ahead and try to blockade. Nice taking out that probe scout at this stage, so he's not going to be able to confirm things from there. But the Zealots now marching their way across the map. Overlord actually wandering in to go ahead and confirm. Confirms the Stargate. That also means it's probably going to lose its life. The Zerglings 
Already moving up to engage, but they're not in sufficient numbers to go ahead and defend this. So this is potentially going to be some drone kills. They're going to go ahead and back out and evacuate. So eight more, or sorry, four Zerglings to get the total count to eight, plus two drones potentially going to defend at this location. But the hatchery taking a lot of hits in the midst of this. And additional Zerglings, yeah, looking for positioning on these Zealots. And now we see the fatal dance that is Zealots and Zerglings poking their way. It looks like DeWalt going to go ahead and pocket these behind the mineral line just to be annoying. So it's going to be detente for now. They're just going to stare at each other across the blue crystals. That'd actually be a fun cinematic as well. It's like the Zealots just kind of... You have the Zerglings hanging out, just dropping the hatchery at the 9 o'clock location. Another Zealot wide walking his way. There are four Zerglings to go ahead and engage at their fourth hatchery along the edge. And we do see that Spire in production. Oh, the Zerglings letting that Zealot walk by. Is he going to be able to get a drone kill? Does manage to get one drone picked off going to get picked out and trying to do a distractionary attack but Ziki's on top of it some nice multitasking so two drones have been taken out but all four zealots were wiped out in the process and we are at five hatch spire as a follow-up taking a look at tech in the back base we are seeing corsairs being produced citadel of adun and dewalt has a lot of gas right now that he's not utilized corsair has snuck across don't see any scourge in production yet so an overlord might get tacked zerglings still grouped up there's a second corsair looking for latent overlords so initial scourge are produced dewalt gonna go ahead and back off now but yeah a lot of gas has been banked for dewalt looks like he is going to have that level one weapons photon cannons preventatively at the main, not yet at the natural expansion. And Zeke just droning behind this. Droning and building Scourge to try to maintain air control in that fashion. Three Corsairs floating up, some more Zealots gathering. Level one weapons just about finished. And Walt on the march once again. The Zergling having to do the scouting information. Does Zeke even see those Zealots coming across? It looks like, oh, completely missed it repositioned there is a something colony here at the nine o'clock but there's not a lot else and Ziki is going to get very likely caught off guard by these zealots making their way across the map this is what dewalt does he just seems to find these pockets and holes evolution chair being dropped plus one weapons is there dewalt poking in finds an exposed something colony the drones coming off the line more units flooding in. The Corsair is going to come in overhead to go ahead and try to take out the Overlords. They're going to get brushed back by the Scourge. But the Zergling's not there. Second Sunk Colony down. And we might lose a hatchery here at the 9 o'clock location with some concentrated fire from these Zealots. The economy's certainly been disrupted. The Zergling's trying to group up and do what they can. Some Mutalisks spawning right there on site to try to engage these Zealots just in the nick of time. But keep in mind, this base was not mining In the interim. So Dwalt. That attack being repelled. Nice defense on Ziki. Lost two sunken colonies, but not a lot of drones. And that could have been a lot worse. Five Mulesks in the air. The Corsair fleet has grown. Plus one weapons is there. They can start overlord hunting. And Mutalisk hunting as well. And Ziki behind this power droning. And starting to tack on both the armor upgrade for his Mutalisks and starting to work on upgrades for his Hydralisk Force. So now, DeWalt needs to move out and slow Ziki down as he transitions out of this defensive posture and into a more aggressive posture. Looks like a lot of Scourge. This is potentially going to be, well, DeWalt should be okay. The Zergling, I think, again, missing that army. Because this is 7 Corsair with plus 1. So in an air battle, DeWalt should still be able to handle this. Diving in, going to occupy the Mutalisks with the Corsair. And the Zealots engaging overhead. The Corsair re-engaging with the support of the Archon. All the Scourge being expended. And there's still 6 Corsair in the air. Ziki moving back a minute, having trouble microing against all of this. And Archon in the lane. 
The Corsair poking away and just, tr it's an intense micro battle both directions. The Zealots focus firing on the Sunk Colony. They've been able to back the Mutalisks out. And now the 9 o'clock location in breach. The drones gathering up, being assaulted. The Scourge chasing down the Mutalisks, or sorry, the Corsairs. The Mutalisks trying to re-engage at position. But this base in the meantime, being the economy being halted. It looks like an empty Psy Storm. The Mules trying to find position to deal with both the Archon and everything else. No hatcheries have been taken out just yet, but DeWalt is still here with an Archon and these Zealots. Zeke being very patient with the defense and potentially too patient because now the Zealots starting to engage on that hatchery and Zeke realizes he does not have enough to defend that 9 o'clock base. The Micro from DeWalt dodging in those Mutalisks back and forth too strong. DeWalt takes the game. Ah, oh, minions beats me to the bike hearth. Yeah, that was before I was even done here. Set goes to DeWalt. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.